Well, first, just in thinking of the word holistic, that I was really, you know, I think we had a great day today with our speakers. There's a real, you know, hodgepodge of a potpourri of a, you know, eclectic mix of, you know, of perspectives. But the one unifying theme I, I heard today was that each, like if you, we had 12 speakers, mm -hmm. and each perspective is part of the holistic approach. So when I think of the approaches, I like to think of the traditional approach as being part of that holistic picture. Like I don't want to, you know, throw that away because, you know, we're doing this now. Mm -hmm. It's more like what are the different modalities that might start to interlock with each other and, and provide the best outcomes. But the ones that are near and dear to me are, you know, are trauma-focused therapy like EMDR and somatic experiencing, which is, you know, it's, it remains, uh, even with all the research that is coming out to back it up, uh, it remains sort of cutting edge and there are people who don't, you know, believe in it or, or don't think it's, uh, you know, so I, in, in some ways it still has this uh, undeserved cachet as an alternative treatment when I, it's really, actually, it's just a really good therapy. Um, so EMDR and um, uh, yoga, and just in particular yoga, uh, in, in uh, Bessel van der Kolk and other people who are in, in the trauma community have really gotten behind and are doing more research on and sort of showing how um, yoga is, is a treat. Gurmuk talked about it today. You know, it's a treatment in, in addition to all the other things that it is. Um, it really changes the brain. It changes the mind-body spirit connection. It, it's very powerful. And so any and all sort of other sort of practices like that, you know, uh, I come from a Zen background. Um, uh, so me sitting meditation, um, focusing on the breathing in, in any kind of way. Uh, and then there's some things that people think of traditionally, but they sometimes forget to really sort of uh, individualized, like exercise. You know, exercise is not one size fits all, and I think finding ways to bring treatment teams together to work together through, you know, a doctor, a therapist, a nutritionist, a, a personal trainer, like have those people talking to each other to um, create meaningful exercise programs for people in early recovery.